Welcome back, we're here to look ahead to Monday night's Premier League game between Liverpool and Bournemouth. Barnes will start with Liverpool, tough opening day fixture away at Stoke, but they got off to a winning start. Yeah, very important to get off to a winning start, I think three early points on the board, particularly with other teams like of Chelsea and Arsenal dropping points that weekend. It was a tough place to go, Stoke, as you say, it was a bit of a gritty game, there was not much in it between the two sides, it took a bit of magic from Coutinho, he's the one player in the Liverpool side, you've got, you said you've got that magic now, that game winning potential when not, not much is going your way, he can come up with something, I think that's his fourth goal in 2015 and three have been wonder goals from outside the box, so he's got that, you had that with Gerrard down the years and now he's gone, obviously, Coutinho is probably the man to replace that sort of, that X factor in the team. Particularly, I think, going, in, going to the Britannia so soon, when the last game of last season was 6-1 defeat, obviously, I think that was an important psychological barrier to, to break through. The performance itself won't encourage too many fans um, that they can push on for top four. I think the squad needs time to gel again. Whether they can do that, that, that'll be interesting to see. Last season, um, Liverpool started with a 2 on win over Southampton, which, again, they sort of ground out. It wasn't a convincing performance, but they got the three points. Hopefully, they can kick on a bit more than they did last season this time around. But, yeah, a good, a good start overall in a, in a tough game. It was a tough game. There were certainly some big positives from the game. I think Joe Gomez's performance at left-back was certainly the big one. You know, starting ahead of Moreno there and only 18 years old, coming in from Charlton, where he didn't even play that many championship games last year. So he was really impressive. But there was also negatives as well. I thought Lallana was quite disappointing. You know, he came off in the second half of Firmino, I think. Because Lallana, he looked really bright in pre-season, I thought. But he didn't do that well. I think Jordan Ibe, he's got the start there. Maybe Jordan Ibe could... He's, he's talked in pre-season about sort of maybe taking on Raheem Sterling's mantle and doing, doing that sort of stuff on the wing. But he was quite quiet as well. So I think those two were disappointing. But there was some positives. You know, Firmino came on, looked a bit bright. And I think Gomez was the big one, wasn't it? You know, he came... He, he started that game at left back and didn't look out of place at all in the Premier League for just an 18-year-old. He was very solid. And I think the big thing for Liverpool this season is their depth in striking options. We didn't really have that last season. But as soon as Sturridge got injured, Balotelli's the number one striker. And we all know how much he struggled. It's just lack of movement there, which didn't create any space for the likes of Sterling last season and those in behind him. You're not going to get much mobility with Benteke, but you've got a big, you've got a more of a target man. You got he didn't have the best debut, let's be honest, but. You've got options there now. Sturridge is getting injured. He's injured for another month now. You've got Benteke to come in. You've got Ings as well. You've got Origi, who might play. You'd expect Balotelli to leave the club um, this summer. But there's a lot more options than there were last season. And they should not feel Sturridge's injury as much as they did last season. Now. So, yeah, they ground it out against Stoke. And, but they'll certainly want a, a more encouraging performance here. They face Bournemouth, who on their first ever game in the Premier League. you know They did brilliantly to get promoted last year under Eddie Howe. First game in the Premier League was at home to Aston Villa. A game, you know, it's a fairly kind opening day fixture. Villa right down there at the bottom last season only just stayed up. But Bournemouth, they didn't quite, you know, didn't quite play with the electricity, like the sort of bounce that they played with last season. None of, they, they were so exciting to watch last season. They just didn't really see too much of that, to be honest. The first half was fairly even. But, I mean, Eddie Howe, he's made a lot of summer signings, you know, some big... Big, big, uh, big money signings. Tyro Mings, eight million on him. Max Grade, with a lot of money on him as well. But neither of those players started. Sylvan Distan didn't start either. He sort of stuck with basically the team that got promoted. And I think some players in that team just won't look quite right in the Premier League. I think Mark Pugh down the left. He was great last year, but I think Grade will probably take his place. Charlie Daniels at left back. Whether Mings might come in for him, but you know he's showing the faith in the side that went up. But I think it kind of showed in that game that you know they might not be quite good enough for the Premier League. I mean the, the winning goal from a set piece. He'll be disappointed with that. It was a great header from Gusted, but not scoring at home considering they they scored so many goals at home last season. So not score at home on the opening day was very disappointing. I think they only lost one home game in the Championship last season, didn't they? And they've already got that in the Premier League this season. The thing that struck me most about that Bournemouth one was the atmosphere inside the stadium. It was an electric atmosphere, but it felt like a cup tie, like they were a lower league opposition going against higher league opposition. And I think they need to sort of they, th those one-off atmospheres can work well and may work well against the big teams but in one-off matches they work well not over the course of a whole season I think they need to get out the mindset that they are the smallest club in the Premier League they are but they, they're there on merit they, they deserve to be there Aston Villa very nearly got relegated last season Bournemouth deserved to get promoted they were the best team in the Championship played the best football so they should have gone into that opening game fixture thinking that we're going to win this match And but every chance that they missed there was the feeling like you needed to take that chance if you're going to win this game like it is in lower league cup match. I think they need to get out of that mindset, really. So, and this is a really difficult game for them. Liverpool's first home game of the season. How do you see it going? Yeah, it's a very tough one. They played each other in the League Cup last season. The Bournemouth, they played very well against Liverpool, but Liverpool ultimately were the better side. And they sort of play similar styles of football, which or they, they did last season. We might yet see Liverpool style this season with Benteke up front. But I think 
Bournemouth style suits Liverpool. Liverpool like playing against a team like Bournemouth, so I'm going to go for a two 0 Liverpool win. I think Liverpool will be quite comfortable winners as well. I think Bournemouth, they, they, I think they needed a win on that first first day really because Villa, like I say, I think it was quite a kind fixture. And now going to Anfield, I think it's a tough fixture for them. So I'm going to go for a three one Liverpool win. So both picking Liverpool to win this game by two goals. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching. Get hard.